wow didn't think i'd see this again 86 episode 20 man this show has had so many issues and if you guys didn't know recently it was announced that the last two episodes of this season are gonna be delayed due to production issues now we've had production issues um for for a while now you know a few weeks maybe even like a month or two We've gotten special episodes in between actual canon episodes, um, and it seems like we're going to be getting that probably for episodes, what, 20, what, 22, 23, 24, I think? It sucks. It really does suck. And it really just puts into perspective how much problems, how many problems this show has had because um, they wanted this, or Aniplex, I don't know who the fuck, but they wanted this uh, show out at the end of 2020. Now, if that happened, the animation and the storytelling would probably take a hit and it wouldn't just be production issues and delays and episode releases so even with being released you know much later than the end of 2020 i think it released in what april yeah dude that's crazy if you think about it we've been with this anime since april and with the delays that we're getting it's not it's likely that we're might go until april of 2022 because the way time slots work, if you exceed your time slots for that anime season, it's really hard to get m any time slots uh, going forward because, you know, there's new anime airing who have those time slots reserved um, from way back. So you really got to be on top of um, releasing your episodes. And it really just goes to show that there's a lot of internal stuff probably going on within the studio. A lot of people look at production issues as uh they just couldn't animate the episode and you know no worries it'll be released next week but like i said the whole stuff with time slots really stresses how important it is to get an episode out every week you gotta feel for the animators man because we don't really know what exactly is going on but you can tell that it's probably putting a lot of load on them maybe they have a lack of animators uh we just don't know uh hopefully we do find out though but so far the delay in the episodes hasn't really um had an effect on the storytelling at least from what i know uh it's still covering everything animation art everything is still great and i think honestly people who haven't watched or don't watch it as it's coming out and maybe we'll watch it in the future maybe like a year or two down the road won't really understand what we had to go through with this show uh but it is what it is at the end of the day new episode did come out and uh yeah it's been a while man it's been a while since uh, we watched the last episode oh i really with the amount of anime i watch i honestly do not remember a lot of what happened last episode obviously the fight is still going on Dude, episode 19, two weeks ago. It's been two weeks. That's crazy. Anyway, let's get into it. Metal particles into the air, jamming communication among these. Okay, okay. Actually, something that can affect uh, the wide range of lesions. Oh, no, dude. Splitting up Shin from the group. You know what's gonna happen, dude. They're all gonna get murked, and then Shin's gonna just go crazy and like kamikaze into the morpho. That's my prediction. Yo, Raiden? That is the real one, man. Everybody knows what he's going through, what Shin's going through, but he's the only one that's, you know, been uh, approaching him. I'm not planning to die. What? <laughs> as soon as he says that, he looked to the left. That's, that's how you know someone's lying. Shin's gotta wake the fuck up. Oh, why did I, oh, oh dude, I thought that was a moment where Shin's about to like cry and break down. Don't try to find your own. Dude, I don't even know if that's going to get through to him, honestly. He's so far gone at this point. Does that mean that R just being there for him is enough? It might not be enough for him. Cause he's so he's so far gone he's just operating on autopilot at this point he doesn't even he knows you guys are his friends and stuff but he doesn't really i think he's lost what it means to have those people around you and wanting to fight for them and be alive for them and help make sure they're alive too oh the republic isn't responding damn so now they know that they were wiped out can we get a can we please get a lena mention oh right there there we go the major we don't know dude there's only a few episodes left man we gotta see what happened to lena thought she wanted to ensure they didn't survive oh yeah wasn't this the guy who's talking mad shit in that one meeting misunderstand 
I just think they're sharp blade. Yeah, but that's the same as just not valuing their lives as a human. Oh, okay. So he's just looking at the utility of the uh, 86. This motherfucker, dude. Oh, they hot boxed the shit out of that tent. Ew, dude. Imagine the smells in that room. That's disgusting, dog. Oh, it's our boy again. Oh my god. No. This dude got clapped. Damn, they haven't seen the sea. They're on their uh, Aaron Jaeger vibes. <laughs> All he was trying to do is see the sea. And look what happened to him. Oh no, dude, I freaking hate when all these guys just talk about their dreams and what they want. Because right after that, it's usually a giant battle where one or a few of them die. <laughs> Ghosts aren't supposed to want anything. Ooh, is he talking about the Legion or is he talking about himself? Because I'm a... I, I think I'm still dead. Ooh! Oh yes, open up more. I don't have anything I want to do or any place I want to go. It doesn't really cause me any problems. That is a state I would never wish upon anyone. Just completely devoid of any desires. Ooh. Why oh, he clenched his fist? So it's not that he doesn't want anything. He was just never in a position where he could have things. His whole life he's been kind of part of the 86 and the first taste of it was when he was in the Jihad Federacy. And he didn't know what to do with it. And so he was so used to just being in the battlefield that he just kind of was drawn towards it again and joined their military. Not having any wishes is the same as not wanting to be alive. The only one who steals and Oh, not this ending song, dude. It's gonna end me. I'm just a reaper. Oh god, it's beginning. It's beginning, guys. The final fight. Oh no, I can't. Uh, after not having seen this anime in two weeks, because I don't, I, I, I didn't watch these special episodes because I didn't feel like I really needed to. They were just recaps, but after not having seen this episode, or rather this show for two weeks, they gave a lot of information this episode. We had two important conversations um one with raiden and one with frederica when it came to raiden and frederica they both said very similar things just in a different way and from different perspectives raiden as someone who's been with shin for a very long time uh, even before all the other 86 and has seen how this guy has relentlessly put himself in you know harm's way or rather Firstly, before everyone else and he ultimately just wants him to trust his comrades and wants him to live for himself and them as well at that time shin starts to break a little bit um starts asking why he killed his brother and all that but he doesn't really have a um, cathartic moment but when the scene shifts over to this conversation with frederica us as the viewer, um, Frederica, and I think Shin himself starts to understand why uh, he is the way he is. Uh, we haven't seen Shin say these types of things before. We've seen him say, oh, I'm the Reaper, I'm this, I'm that, I just want to kill my brother and all that. But he dives a little bit more into his own psychology and how war and everything that he's been through has essentially made him feel like one of the dead. And obviously this is something that we could probably insinuate and just come to the conclusion on our own. But this is the first time we've heard Shin say that, that I'm one of them. I am a ghost, I have no desires, and that's the same thing as not wanting to be alive. And the conversations he has with Frederica clearly show that this is something that he's convinced himself of. And he still has some sort of sadness within him when it comes to realizing that if he stays like this, then everyone will move forward and leave him behind. Um, the way he says that is with a tone of regret, is with a tone of just not wanting to be like that, you know? But it's so entrenched in who he is as a character that even no matter how many people talk to him, 
It doesn't seem like he's able to break free from the chains that have been placed on him. This show would be so insanely good if there wasn't any production issues, man. Because when there are production issues and you go a week or two weeks without an episode, a week I can handle, right? That's fine. But when you go two weeks without an episode, it ruins the flow. It ruins the flow of the show. And that's what I was saying before, how people who watch this later after it's done airing won't really understand what we had to go through. And so when it comes to the nickname of the Reaper, it's something that he adopted and was pretty much thrust on him. Um, pause. Uh, from the beginning and he's adapted it and he's made it his own so much so that even the people close to him like the other 86 who call him that he feels like they're just going to move on and leave him behind and so therefore he also feels like he just needs to you know do everything on his own and just run on this path that's eventually going to lead to his demise because at the end of the day he like going back to what i said before he also feels like he's one of the dead the brief moment of freedom that he had uh, in the GI Confederacy, he understands that it was fun. He understands that it was a good thing. And yet he still ran away from it because the feeling of being an outcast, the feeling of being one with the dead and the ghosts that he's been chasing supersedes and transcends any other feeling he has. So it's really hard to rewire your brain uh, i just hope we get a semi good ending uh i expect people to die i don't know i i, I just don't know this uh, the way this anime has been i just can't tell what type of ending they're gonna give us they could give us a good ending which will honestly redeem the whole thing for me and it, it would just it would just it would be a nice way to make up for all the production issues <laughs> but if it doesn't then hopefully they leave us with a good message and uh, they promote what not to do if you're in a situation or a mental space like shin is because i think a lot of people even though obviously you can't relate to this as uh readily as other types of anime because it's a fantasy anime i think a lot of people can relate to um what shin's feeling that's all i gotta say though if you guys enjoyed the video you guys are I don't even know if the word is hyped at this point because there's been so many production issues even me i just kind of want this anime to end so i can know what's going to happen in the last episode but if you guys are looking forward to the next uh two episodes of Musho uh, mushoku tensei 86 let me know what you guys thought about uh it down below in the comments hit that sub button too and i will catch you guys on the next one peace